So this is a digital caliper. It's one of the most useful, essential tools for any designer or engineer who is making things in the physical world. So in our software, today we're going to take a look at using the measure tool and the ruler tool in 123D to measure our objects and the distances between them, because it's really important. So if you haven't already, update your 123D app. There was an update, and there's a new tool for measuring uh, things. It's called the ruler. But first, we're going to take a look at um, measuring uh, objects using the existing tool called the measure tool. So in 123D, I have my little model here. It's a little droney. It's a little mascot for an upcoming contest from Adafruit. We'll more on that later. So right up here, there's this uh, menu called Adjust, and there's two tools. So first, let's take a look at measure. It says it measures the distance, volume, and the area of objects. So that sounds really useful. So how do you use it? So when you click on it, you get this little panel. It tells you what do you want to select. You, right now, it's defaulted to face, edges, and vertex of a solid. So if you come here and you seek uh, objects, you'll see that it only selects um, either the face or the surface, but not the whole object. So if you wanted to select the whole object, just change the thing right there, and then click on that, and it tells you the area. That's pretty cool, but in most cases, you want to know the length uh, of an overall shape. So what we can do is click on measure. Let's say you wanted to know this, uh, this edge here. So you click on the edge, and it tells you the length of it. So it's 63 millimeters. So that's nice, and you can also copy it as well. You can clear that. And you can do up to, I believe, five different ones. So if I wanted to measure these two and see if they're the same, you can see length one is a little bit longer than length two, right? Uh-oh. You also see the angle of the two objects, like what the angle is. You see it's 90. And you also see the distance between the two, which is 18 mil. So that's really nice and useful. Um, but what if you wanted to see the overall width and height of this object? You really can't do that. Um, when you're starting out, maybe you'll know how big it is. But as you start modeling, things are going to change. You're going to scale things around, and you need to know the overall size. So there's a cool tool here under Adjust, right next to Measure. It's called Ruler. And it works a lot like a real ruler. You need to place it down somewhere first. So it kind of doesn't matter. It, if you wanted it to be really close to it, that's fine. But it's just know that it, it kind of doesn't matter where it is if you're just looking for the overall width and height and depth of an object. So I'm going to click right here. You see it's, it plants it down there. And you get some options, minimum distance, midpoint, and max. And this is just saying uh, where, uh, where do you want the anchor point to be. So in this case, it's right there, as you can see it. So it's the minimum distance. So with that ruler placed on the canvas, I can now click on an object. So I can click on this guy. And you get a nice visual of exactly the measurements of everything in a nice little box format here. So you can see it's 40, 46 by 44. And then the depth of it, or the tallness of it, is about 34. So that's really nice and very handy to use, especially if you're trying to gauge, is my print going to fit on my build volume? Or do I need to split up something? So this is a really good tool to do that. And you can, um, from here, you can see the distance between uh, the ruler and the object. You can see it's about 27. So this is going to be useful for uh, moving objects, the, um, when you're moving objects and you want to know an exact distance. Uh, this is a good way to do that. So I'll hit Escape, and we're going to do some more objects. So I'm going to do a ruler. And the thing is that you can also do um, the ruler will um, sort of snap to objects into the grid. So depending on what surface you're on, it will try its best to uh, set it there. So this stick, for example. And it includes the whole thing. So uh, you can see the little nub there. It'll include that into the depth of it. And you can see here how big it is. It is 6 mil tall. Very cool. So this is just a very, very high overview of the ruler tool. I definitely recommend you guys use it in all of your projects, especially if you're trying to figure out if something's going to fit or not. It's a really good tool to gauge distance and measurement. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe let me know what you guys want me to build or show you guys. I can also use different CAD packages, but we're sticking with 123D. So thanks for watching again. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Calpers, don't forget.